My name is Will Taylor. I'm a fourth year PhD student at the University of New Mexico and I'm doing my um, dissertation research on the domestication of the horse and trying to develop new ways to identify domestic horses, particularly horses that have been used for transport either through riding or traction, chariotry, that sort of thing. Um, hoping to develop techniques to identify that archaeologically just from uh, the skeleton of the horse. Um, and so for the last several years I've been working on a project where uh, visiting various uh, museum collections and trying to study the skulls of horses uh, that I know either a little bit or in this case a lot about what their life was like and then um, hopefully get a better sense of how people were using horses in the past. Essentially um, I began to identify some interesting uh, grooves to the nasal portion of the skull in some of my archaeological specimens and after playing around in a lot of different museum collections with wild horses and domestic horses, I started to notice that these seemed to be pretty pronounced in, in many domestic horses and, and very infrequent in, in wild specimens. So, um, however, they're incredibly difficult to uh, measure in any meaningful way because we're talking about at the largest size between a millimeter to two millimeters in depth. Um, that's what brought me to the 3D scanning component. Um, with uh, the 3D Next Engine 3D laser scanner that I've, I've brought with me, um, it, it takes a very high resolution um, three-dimensional image of that portion of the skull, which then I can go into um, my digital measurement software and and get a depth measurement directly um, rather than trying to find some kind of linear way to, um, to measure that with any kind of precision on the skull. So um, the methodology is, is pretty simple. Um, basically the scanner will take a series of, of images um, by repeated sort of swaths with the laser and then um, either automatically or in post-processing, we can combine these to, to create a three-dimensional model. Um, and so that's what um, the last couple days we've been doing to the collections here. Um, I feel like uh, I'm blown away by the, by the horse park itself. It's just totally beautiful. Um, Lexington is, has been a real nice place. And, and I just, uh, you know, this is obviously a world-class facility here. And it's, um, it's really neat to have the chance to, to do my research.